In this video, I would like to guide you through the different construction steps so you could accurately draw a dustpan, including the handle and the front part. The first step I really would highly suggest to do is make yourself a study. So you see here, I have kind of like two squares, a top view, side view, front view. This really helps me to understand where maybe space-wise I have to place certain elements. Because one of the biggest problems is when you start drawing something and you have no idea how it looks, well, huh? <laughs> how do you want to draw it? So, okay, let's put this one maybe to here. And let's focus actually on the handle. And let's draw the handle actually on this area so the dustpan first goes to there. So you can, for example, create yourself those two boxes and call that good. Ink them nice and thick so you have a good underlay. Take another sheet, put it over it, all with really uh, thin lines. For example, now here I'm putting down my diagonals there and there. The main reason is simply I would like to figure out this detail first. So this is kind of like two-thirds high of a midsection. So from my midpoint, so we set two-thirds. Yeah, that looks like two-thirds plus minus. So maybe go up and go up. So that's yeah, maybe a little bit too small. So maybe make this line a tick higher. Yeah, that works better now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Let's keep it that way. And there. So these points I project over to my vanishing point. And the main reason is simply now where these lines cut my lower diagonals, there I probably have the other line. And this should all line up. And pretty much it lines up. Perfect. Good. So now if I connect this and this, just to show you what we have, there is actually a small construction cube. So you see my product, so my dustpan, I started to break down into smaller boxes where I can put individual elements into. Okay, so here we have a midline up and a midline up and this should overlay nearly does there it does okay there seems to be a little bit of distortion going on here because this is too small compared to here so i might have to manually by hand fix a few things yeah and i actually already noticed what's going on there i actually connected the wrong lines no this actually is correct yeah indeed just looked odd. Hmm. What do you see again? The drawing there is getting really tight. Small problems will get really noticeable. Yeah, so this looks maybe a little bit better. Okay, good. So we said like we can project an arc in and I would like to put in my arc there. So essentially I have point one two and three, one, two and three. So there's for example my back and there's my front arc. There, okay. Let's connect some lines there and there and maybe the tangent lines there, there you see it. Okay, so now from the side view, you see 
this whole part is actually boxed in and there's an arc. So let's see what a proportional cube here would be. There and there. Yeah, plus minus go over. There's one, two, and three. Yeah, kind of like this. It's good. Perfect. So now this line actually has to go down and I need to figure out where's this midpoint. So from here, for example, I draw, or I could draw a long line till there and basically where this goes down. So here it has to meet. So it would look, it would look like this actually. There, there we have it. Okay. So essentially this part I'm erasing right now, I wouldn't really have needed to draw. I simply put it down so you understood like how I'm using the front and the back face, kind of like as projection surfaces. But there's kind of like this part. Okay. Now I can take another sheet of paper and do actually a nice and clean drawing. So this down to there, yeah, okay. And this goes this way and then this goes up and then from here this goes down and bends in. Let's see. Oh, I forgot this one. Yep. Okay. You start maybe noticing that this area is maybe a little bit tricky to read. So what we will do is actually add some mesh lines to it. So you could go ahead and say, well, I bold, I bold, I bold, I bold. But you see all these curves are a little bit different. So instead of eyeballing, I'm simply trying to be more precise. So I go over, whoa. Maybe let's say you're here in the middle, I do this. Let's show the other lines, where's the bottom part. So there's my bottom part there. Okay, let's bring this back might ask yourself what, what I'm doing. So here you see there have another rectangle. So if I subdivide this rectangle with diagonals and then a vertical, I know exactly start and end point. So I can comfortably in this layer sketch this in. So seeing, for example, the um, the box really helps me to estimate more how that arc should look like. Yeah, maybe clean this up a little bit. Okay, so that's, for example, how I would approach how to construct the handle. So let's take a look at the front part. I'm going to remove all those sheets of paper we don't need anymore. This one I'm going to hide for a second. I'm just marking myself some helper dots there and there to go up. So I know where, for example, my uh, handle would be attached. So we see here, for example, this goes straight down. So this is actually going to be easy. All we need to do, zip, zip down, and then connect this at the bottom. So 
good. So then, then from here it goes over there. So maybe let's draw a nice arc. Uh, maybe like this, yeah. So you saw also you saw also that I started drawing way before and ended somewhere else. So I this way can get curves drawn a little bit nicer. So now I would like to bring this one over. So that's where our mirroring technique will come in handy. So subdivide this one, vanishing point there. So here I have to cut. So get over to there and here, there I have to stop. So this is a really shallow line. So probably it will look like this. Yeah, okay. So you don't really see much of it. And then Make a new, new sheet. Now we can nicely trace over this one. Zip. Okay. So, how do I now do this arc? The rest, well, you know, I could simply assume this one, but who? How do I do this one? Because it actually goes along, kind of like it bends and it goes down. Uh, but probably actually that, that I assume will be right. So there, and there, and there. Let me see, there's a very basic shape. So however, don't assume, let's be sure. Let's say that shape we really like. I would like to bring this one over. So again, going to do some projection stuff. So I'm just simply using maybe this line here. Bring this over, bring this up, bring this over and there where it cuts. There we have to draw through. So actually my initial idea that I have to draw it this way actually was correct. Okay, perfect. So let's hide all the other stuff we don't really need. There, Ooh. some things maybe to erase. This can go, all the stuff here is not really what should be on the drawing. It's just helper lines. And let's make a nice vertical line, just gesturing that there's an hard edge. And there you have it. In the previous video, we constructed a handle that was basically an open cylinder where we cut the top part away. Let's maybe try to create a cylinder which is more organic. So let's say it has a smaller starting profile and then actually it gets bigger to a smaller profile again. So for example here as you can see I have a big big box. So this box I'm going to subdivide one time so I find kind of like the midpoint. Okay good. Essentially what you see here now are one, two, three, four, five, six, three construction planes. That's really important. Okay, so let's make a new layer. And I'm going to work on this center layer first. There and there. Uh, that's actually nearly the same, perfect. So there, okay. So 
let's say onto this face, we're going to put down an ellipse. Uh, whoopsie, wrong degree. So maybe like, like this. Let's go red and go over it. There, perfect. Okay, let's do the same on here. But now I actually I would like to make this one really a lot smaller. So I have to shorten actually this face. So I'm quickly creating myself a new face there because then this face, as you can see here, I'm trying to make smaller. There you see how I'm perfectly calculating the smaller face there. Great. And then I can go ahead and actually also here create myself the ellipse. And you see this actually will get squeezed more, which is correct because that face is flatter. Uh, I want to have this one there. Okay, perfect. So let's go to the other back face and do the same here. I'm quickly tracing myself this thing in there, there, and there. And because uh, that was not intentionally, but I created everything actually on the eye level, I can simply use a vertical ellipse tool. I don't have to rotate it. There it is. And there. Oop. Okay. So let's hide all this. So let's take a look at this, what we have here first. Currently, you just see three ellipses. Now, if we actually show all this stuff, for example, we can see also the midpoint, 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 and midpoint there. So for example, this we can connect, this we can connect, this we can connect, and this. And obviously those are all linear connections right now. Okay, good. So let's say we would like to make it a nice clean drawing. So zip to there. Here actually, I would only have a thin line because that is on my surface. And here, I would have a thick line there and then there, 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 and there. So let's hide all the rest. There you see it. Okay, now this is hard to read and uh, this is also at the end. So I am putting a thin line onto there. There. Now we see you can read that shape much better to enhance actually the visibility because this is nearly eye level. We can make a line like this and then over to there and to there, to there, oh yeah. It's all unfortunately on the same line, but you basically get the idea. Okay. So in this view, I would like to show you how we can create an even more organic looking handle. 
So, for example, I'm breaking this one down into another layer and quickly sketching in a, a mid plane like this. And the main reason is so I have this line here. And because there's so much rubbish right now, let's remove some of the stuff which we don't really need. Zip, zip, zip. There, there. So, and put this line back in. Perfect. Okay, so I would like that, for example, from the site this thing might look like something like this. And from the top, maybe like this. Okay, so what would be efficient ways how to approach this? So let me show you kind of like step one. So I have this mid plane here, that's good. I'm going to hide it for a moment. I'm going to create another plane um, just right actually at the center. There, 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 and there, for example. So what's that one going to do for me? Well, as you can see, this is actually right inside the center here. So I can actually draw onto this part um, a side profile. So for example, maybe something like this. Yeah, okay, good. So let's keep that for the moment. And so here's my box. And I'm going to create another box here at the back. And I will just tell you why I'm just creating just this box. So I can just hide this one. So you see there, now I have another box where I can put down another arc. See that? So site and maybe the, the back view. At the center here, for example, it gets tighter and here it gets wide and then here it's pointy. So here comes a really interesting part of construction planes. On this plane, uh, which is this one, I draw a straight line up just to see where it starts cutting actually my red line. And then I draw a line through there because there now you see kind of like the height. So they have a new rectangle. Let's keep that for the moment there. And I'm going to draw another rectangle also here. So there, so that's kind of like the lowest part. So I assume that actually here I will have another full arc that goes one end to the midpoint to the other end. Like this maybe, okay. So let's go back actually to that one. From the top, this area here gets a little bit more narrow. So check out what I'm going to do with that part. So I decide maybe this whole thing sh should narrow down that much. So how do I bring this one over to the other side? I have to mirror it over. So 
again. Same technique with mirroring. There and there. Perfect. And then there. I can sketch in my half profile. See that? Now we have a back, a mid, a front profile, and a side profile. So, how can that actually be very helpful? Here, take a look at this. So here I have a new, a new layer there, this layer. So my line would start somewhere here, run through there, go back to there, run through this point, to there, to there, to there. So if I show basically my bounding box, I can better now understand maybe how I have to draw this arc. So for example, let's try this with a thin line first. And let's see, yeah, yeah, nearly a little bit off. Um, stroke steadiness, maybe this way, yeah. Okay, let's try it again. So this goes this way through there, bands around, goes back and there and ends there. And it will be more like this because it has to arc there. Okay. So at this point, I could actually go ahead and then start actually trying to work these lines really well. And there. So you see here this line comes down and then we have a small thing here. So the problem there will be that this will be actually looking like this. Okay, so let's hide all the other stuff and let's take a look at what we have. So here it actually this goes down. Zip. Um, certain parts are a little bit tricky to read. Also, I don't really like the way how these lines turned out. So I'm going to undo all this and actually simply have to zoom in more and give myself more screen space for my stylus to go over. So let's try this now again. So there, yeah, that worked better. Uh, the tip one always doesn't want to work. Yeah, maybe this. So go down, this has to go in, and then this goes, then it's tangent, and then zip, it goes up. We have some mesh lines on here, which we can easily see this one, and this one, then I stop there and there. And in the back, we have one line that goes down there. Okay, and let's see. Okay, so you see that's basically then how you can make a nice arced or organic shape. And the top actually is closed, uh, is open, and I actually <laughs> would like it to be closed. So um, with the same construction stuff, let's show everything so I see it. I'm going to do the following. So where's 
this line. Okay, so for example, I say um, this line maybe up a little bit and this line maybe a little bit less up. This line maybe even more up. Check this one out. So along these points, I'm going to draw another height line and then from here over over and over yeah and there it will be like this see it so let me undo this let's try this one more time so the whole part on the top is flat but I have this point to this point this point to this point this point to this point and actually this is really terrible and just leave it for the moment and at all those midpoints I can project something up so for example um, here I make a line up because essentially then I have three points and I can project an arc over it here a small line up because it has to go down more so I make a smaller arc here maybe till there or I can even make it higher so this should be really highly extruded you see there's actually a circle so maybe do it rather this way okay and then I have again kind of like a construction plane with different height points in between and one, two, three, four, and I can draw through those. So that's basically then what later I did here. So trying to hit those nicely there. And then obviously here, this front edge, I would completely see. And there. I would mainly see this line here. I would mainly see this line. This is actually not right. That does. This should be done with a thin line and thin line. There. Okay. That's internal. You shouldn't be able to see that. And this one we also might not see. And there you have it.